Are you serious? I mean, $3 for a half a potato to make some hash browns. Is, is these, I mean, rich people getting richer. I'm telling you people, it's time to boycott these kind of individuals, these rich people who are just doing whatever to people. And the reason they do it is because you're not making no, no kind of noise. I wouldn't eat anything from McDonald's. I tell you, to let, go back and look at my recordings where I went and bought a hamburger and it was not beef. And now they got the nerve to take one potato. I mean, think about it, taxpayers and free people. One potato to make a hash brown and now it's $3. I mean, unbelievable. You got to think about it. You know, it's just like you go into the grocery stores or the stores now and you buy a bag of tater chips, your favorite tater chips, and it's a half a bag of tater chips. Think, I want you to think about this before, you know, I'm going to bring awareness to you. Think about it. To make potato chips, you need potatoes, right? Skim a potato and count the number of tater chips you can make with one potato. And that's that bag of potato or half a bag of potatoes that they put in and charging you a dollar and what, 68 cents, almost two dollars for one potato. You ever thought about that? And now they're trying to tell you one hash brown is going to cost you three dollars. You know how many potatoes it takes to make one hash brown? One. You people got to start using your heads and start, you know, going along to get along. McDonald's is a billion dollar business. And now they're raising the price on Donkey Kong food. It is no way in the world I would spend three dollars for one hash brown and people need to boycott McDonald's. It's like going into these stores now when you see a half a bag or something and just think how much ingredients to make that half a bag. One, one. Food prices are going up and you know why they're going up? Because we have people in this country that's not used to it who are the new slaves that go out here and buy shit and don't even think about shit because they're not used to having that kind of shit. But history always repeats itself. Go back to slavery. When they wake up and realize they're getting a rod stuck in them without grease, you're going to have another civil war in this country. $3 for a hash brown. Have y'all lost your mind? Come on. Three dollars? And then you go in there and you buy their coffee, which tastes like motor oil. You know, but I just sit back and watch how people go into these places and they buy it just to be buying it. Going along to get along. I mean... It's time we wake up. It's just like uh, I got a story coming out about these scooters in the state of Maryland. In the state of Maryland, scooters, you're supposed to wear helmets and you're supposed to have a scooter license from what the law says. But they are allowing individuals to ride these scooters without helmets. They are running through red lights and the police have been instructed hands off. I'm going to show you a story where they even putting little kids life at risk. Because they're riding them in between the seats of these scooters. And it clearly states the age group that are supposed to be on these scooters. But they ride by police. Nobody's pulling them over. Nobody's saying anything to them because upper management, the corrupt 
senior officers, the county executive, uh, the commissioners, the chief of police have told officers, hands off. They are discriminating against their own citizens. They want to enforce these laws on certain individuals. That's why these bootlickers are always talking about, oh, it's a law. Then why aren't you enforcing it across the line? It's the same thing about Uber Eats. How do you just come into a country and you're delivering food where you don't even have a driver's license? Um, you are not a citizen? Go to look at New York. Look at all these scooters around because somebody is getting rich renting these scooters to these people who don't even have driver's license. And in the state of Maryland, from what they saying, you're supposed to have a license to do commerce. I mean, look at, ladies and gentlemen and taxpayers, I know I'm talking about McDonald's, but it's a story that's coming out that we're working on about how our policing is just hands off because they have been told by upper management to not enforce laws on these people. And the thing about it is this. When you look at these people driving these scooters, look at the little children whose lives are being put in danger by zipping up and down these streets. They don't have helmets on and all it takes is somebody to hit that scooter and there you have a child who is brain dead or may lose their lives because our policing has decided to take hands off. These children don't have a choice. They're getting put on these scooters with no helmets, with individuals who don't have a license to maneuver these with scooters. They do it in their country, so now they're, they're trying to make this country like their country. But we have so-called laws that nobody's enforcing on these people. And if you don't believe me, just go get in your vehicle and travel up and down the streets. You see them riding through red lights. Nobody's doing anything because they're the new 20th century slaves. And they have the officers, our public service have been told, hands off, do not enforce anything on these people because we need them to build America. Now they're putting the children's lives in danger. But go back to this. Three dollars hush. I mean, hash brown. One potato now is going to cost you three dollars. Anybody that knows how to cook to make one McDonald's hash brown. You chop up the potato, which is one. And you can make that greasy hash brown that's going to give you cholesterol, run your blood pressure up, going to give you health problems. Eating out of McDonald's. I thought I would just bring this to you all attention that we got to start doing better than this. We got to wake up and see what's really going on in America today. Like I told you, if you don't believe me, do your own research. Chop up a potato. Go and make the same kind of hash brown, same oval egg shaped hash brown and tell yourself it was only one potato. And for three dollars, I probably could go into a grocery store and get a whole bag of them or go into a, one of these little carry outs and get one of these Uts or Frito Lays and get a half a bag of tater chips. Slice up a potato and see if you come out with the same amount of chips you got in that bag that you paid $2 for. Or go, you know, go buy, you got to go buy you one of them tater chip makers. See, I got one, so I know what I'm talking about. One potato makes that half a bag of potato chips you go into a store and buy for $2. It's a damn shame how this country is selling us out. All right, y'all stay tuned. More to come because I'm just bringing you awareness. Do your own research and see for yourself. $3 for 
for a hash brown is coming, y'all. And I'm telling y'all, it's time we start boycotting these kind of establishment to send a message to them. You're not going to extort our hard-earned money from them. Stay tuned.